What is back titration and how to solve back titration calculation questions with the model method? Now, let's talk about how exactly does back titration work. Firstly, a solution of an unknown amount, which we're going to call the analyte, which I'm just going to label as A, is poured into a conical flask. Then, a known amount of excess reagent, which I'm going to label as B, is then poured into the conical flask to react with A. So this means that A will be completely reacted away and there will be no more A left, hence leaving the remaining excess unreacted B. Then what happens is that this excess unreacted B will be titrated against the titrant, which we call T. So you will eventually know what is the amount reacted for both B and T. As the word back in back titration suggests, it means that your job is to work backwards to find the amount, volume or mass depending on the question of A. To do this, let me introduce you to the model method. So if you were to combine all the boxes below the diagrams into one, it will look something like this. Before we work backwards to find A, we need to first recognize that there are two reactions taking place. The first one being B reacting with A and the second one is the titration between B and T. So from the model, to find A, we need to first find the amount of T, and then we can find the amount of excess unreacted B, and because the exact amount of B is known to us, as it is given by the question, the amount reacted with A can be found by subtracting off with the excess unreacted B. Then finally, you can find A. Now let's take a look at this example. Feel free to pause the video right now to read the question. Firstly, we must identify what are the A, B, and T in this question. So remember, B is the substance which has the exact amount added in excess. In this case, it is the hydrochloric acid. Then the question goes on to say that sodium hydroxide was needed to neutralize the resulting solution. So this makes sodium hydroxide the titrant. And magnesium carbonate will be the A, which is what we're looking for. So let's use the model method to solve this question. Firstly, we want to find out the amount of sodium hydroxide reacted with excess hydrochloric acid. To do that, we must first write out the chemical equation that describes this titration reaction. Then, we just take 36.8 divided by 1000, which will convert it into dm3, and multiply it with 0.1 mole per dm3. Since 1 mole of sodium hydroxide reacts with 1 mole of hydrochloric acid, the amount of sodium hydroxide reacted is the same as the excess hydrochloric acid reacted. Now, we need to find number 3, the amount of B that reacted with the impure sample of magnesium carbonate. Since we have the volume and concentration of the hydrochloric acid at the start, we can calculate the total initial amount of hydrochloric acid, which is the full length of B. To find the amount of hydrochloric acid that reacted with magnesium carbonate, which is box number 3, we take 0.05 mole that we found and subtract box number 2. Lastly, we want to find amount of A, which is the magnesium carbonate. And because there was a chemical reaction that took place, we need to write out the equation. Since 2 moles of hydrochloric acid reacts with 1 mole of magnesium carbonate, the amount of magnesium carbonate reacted can be found by dividing 0.04632 moles by 2. And finally, to answer the question, by finding the mass of the magnesium carbonate in the sample, we just need to multiply it by the MR, which is given in the question.